With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question says that the maximum value of z is equal to 4x plus 3y subjected to the constraints x plus 2y should be greater than or equal to 160 5x plus 2y should be greater than or equal to 200 and x plus 2y should be greater than or equal to 80 and we have given that x comma y should be greater than or equal to 0 is so we have to find the maximum value of z is equals to so we have to find the maximum value of z is equals to 4x plus 3y and now we are given three equations so our first equation will be x plus 2y should be greater than or equal to 160 second equation will be 5x plus 2y should be greater than or equal to 200 third equation will be x plus 2y should be greater than and equal to 80 and now we have given that x comma y should be greater than and equal to 0 it means the curve will be lying in the first quadrant so first of all we have to draw the equation of a line to plot the region which is occupied by the curve x plus 2y should be greater than or equal to 160 so first of all you have to draw the line that is x plus 2 is equal to 160 and its coordinates are when x equals to 0 then y is equals to 80 and when y is equals to 0 then value of x is equals to 160. Similarly here we have first of all you have to draw the line so 5x plus 2 is equals to 200 and when you put x equals to 0 then value of y is equals to 100 and when y is equals to 0 then value of x is equals to 40. Similarly, in our third equation, first of all, you have to draw the equation of a line that is x plus 2y is equal to 80 when, and now you have to find the coordinates. Now put when x equals to 0, then value of y is equal to 40, and when y is equal to 0, then value of x is equal to 80. So from here we can take this scale. So we have to draw the curve of so we can plot these three lines on the coordinate axis. So let's take this is our y axis or we can just extend it. So this is our y axis and uh, now this is our x axis. And now this point will be origin that is 0, 0. And now we have to take a scale that is equals to you take a scale x is equal to you have to take a scale is equal to 20 units so here we have 0 here we have 20 here we have 40 here we have 60 here we have 80 here 100 now 120 140 160 and here we have 180 this is our x axis and on y axis this point will be 20, this point will be 40, this point will be 60, this point will be 80, this point will be 100, this point will be 120, this point will be 140, this point will be 160 and this point will be 180. So now we have to plot the curve of x plus 2 should be greater than or equal to 160 now put x equals 0 then value of y is equals to 80 and uh, when you put y is equals to 0 then value of x equals to 160 so the, its curve will be this one and now we have to put origin put 0 comma 0 on this equation so we get 0 should be greater than or equal to 160 but from here we can write it, it is not possible so the curve x plus 2y should be greater than or equal to 160 will occupy the region in which the origin will doesn't lie so this is the region which will occupy the curve x plus 2y should be greater than or equal to 160 and now we have to plot the curve of 5x plus 2y should be greater than or equal to 200 so when you put x equals to 0 then value of y is equals to 100 and when when you put y is equals to 0 then value of x equals to 40 so its curve will be this one and now put origin so when you put 0 comma 0 on this equation so we get 0 should be greater than and equal to 200 and it is also not possible so it means 0 will doesn't lie on this equation 5x plus 2y should be greater than or equal to 200 
now this will, this curve will occupy that region in which the origin will doesn't lie so it will occupy that region and now we have to check our third equation so our third we have to plot our third equation so when you put x equals to 0 then value of y is equals to 40 and when you put y is equals to 0 then value of x equals to 80 so y is equals to 40 and x equals to 80 so it's curve will be like that this is the curve and now we can put origin we can put 0 comma 0 on this equation so we get 0 should be greater than or equal to 80 and it is not possible so again origin will doesn't line on this origin will doesn't satisfy this curve so this curve will occupy that region in which origin doesn't lie and its equation will be x plus 2y should be greater than or equal to 80 so this is the reason which is occupied by that curve and now we have to take the common reason so the common reason is and we have to maximize it so the common reason which is occupied by three curves will be this will take that reason this will take that reason this will take that reason or now from here we can write it as both of the curves will be taken that reason so now the reason which will occupy by both the curves will be this one so which is the reason which occupied by both by three curves so this is the reason this is the reason which will occupy by three curves so from here we can write it as that it is not possible to find the maximum value so from here we can write it as it is not possible to find the maximum value so for our fourth option is correct that is none of these for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.